Yeah, I know. So we're going to drop down now to losers semifinals. Uh, DJ Jack versus Blank. Blank has been putting in so much work today. Unfortunately, having to take out his partner Mutace. Uh, well, they didn't team today, but they've been static teammates forever for a, yeah. a pretty long time. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Uh, there. Blank also beating Sabrick, um, doing really well. DJ Jack, we saw just beat Zaltis on stream earlier. Blank putting in his a lot static of work. teammate also actually. So yeah. we got a lot of homie side going on today. Um, <laughs> But I was mentioning, uh, Blank is putting in a lot of work recently. Uh, just got put onto the South Florida PR for this yep. season. He's been, that basically in itself tells you how much work he's been putting in for the game. I do not understand. He is a lab monster. This he is a lab monster. labs so much unnecessary stuff. And then when you see it in tournament, it's like, wow, he, he, he lands it. It's like, like, yeah, this stuff he does it consistently. actually works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do recall correctly, these two players, DJ Jack does have the winning record on Blank. Uh, yeah. But recently, since Blank has been getting so much better as a player, he had taken a set finally off of DJ Jack. Oh, my God. He got hit twice and is at 30. Yeah. Well, Why is fair, fair combos into itself and it's a 30% combo? What? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, we actually saw DJ Jack playing this matchup earlier. He got knocked out by Vinny in the winners in winners bracket, or knocked into losers by Vinny in the winners bracket. Um, so it's definitely doable for Sheik. I I can definitely see this matchup being in Sheik's favor. Um, it just seems pretty tough. Ryu has a lot of great tools. He's and kill power. Heavy. He has kill power. He does a lot of damage. But Sheik can definitely just kind of keep DJ, uh, keep Ryu away D -D -D. with uh, needles spaced forward airs, things like that, and just play a very patient game. It's just going to be very difficult when it comes to Sheik trying to get the kill. Yes. Um, one thing that I've noticed that could be in particular very well against Ryu in this matchup is straight needle camping. Yeah, absolutely. It, needle camping is really, really It is very good, good and Ryu in particular does have a very Street Fighter-esque approach in this game. He yep. does. So he, that's why he requires a lot of walking because unfortunately his approach option is kind of butt. All right, and yeah, Blank very aware of that. Ooh. So Blank's I guess just going to take his time. Yeah, that's what we're seeing right now. Oh, overcommitted, though. He did not have to go for that bouncing fish. I think it was kind of clear that it wasn't going to connect from that far away. Yeah. Uh, and DJ Jack is going to take advantage of that. Punish it with the tilt into Shoryu, and that's going to be Blank's first stock. Oh, we got up airs. Sheik's at 35 now. Oh my god. Able to block the end of that block string and get a down smash for it. We got focus into Shoryu with Rage, and Sheik is out of there. I was saying earlier on, this, these two players have definitely paid a lot, a lot in the past within versus Arcade Odyssey, yep. TGL. Other TGLs, exactly. Other TGLs. And each time they play, it seems as if it might be that Blank gets a little in too impatient yeah. in this matchup. Yeah. Because most definitely, I could see the part where Ryu struggles, but I feel like Blank is just not capitalizing it off of it. Yeah, I think this is a very patient matchup for Sheik. Going to counterpick to Final Destination. I really, I actually really like this pick a lot for Blank. Um, Ryu is going to have a lot of trouble getting in if Blank wants to play a zoning game because uh, you know FD, you're you have to approach pretty linearly, uh, and Sheik is just going to be very good at keeping Ryu out. Oh, but right now, once... Oh, what's happening? Wow, he went for the drag down for, or up air. That was really nice. Um, but yeah, as you can see, once once Ryu gets in, he just does so much damage. He does so much damage and damage that Sheik really cannot afford to take. Yep. Every trade between these characters is going to be a good trade for Ryu. Whereas the more damage that Ryu takes, it potentially makes Ryu better because of yeah, rage. Yeah, exactly. All right, good grab. Doesn't get the right back air. Gets focused for it, and sure you. There it is again. Down tilt one to show you. Dude, does he even need the down tilt one for that, or is it just? I guess he just muscle memoryed it. What the down tilt into true sure you? Yeah. After Wait. after focus attack, can't you just just raw sure you? Oh, uh, he can, but I guess just make sure that it is a confirm. He just does down tilt. Right. In case that it is a multi hit move that they end up doing in the middle of the true fo uh, the focus. <coughs> Say true focus instead of true sure you. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right. Forward tilt up air is going to connect. Forty-three percent, not bad at all for Blank. He's just got to play very patiently. Bring this back. And I was afraid that Blank accidentally SD'd there, so glad that didn't happen. Oh, oh speaking of SD's though, that, 
All right, DJ Jack will make it back. Good use of focus. Cancel. And we got footstool combos into the jab lock. Oh, it misses up, misses the follow up. We're seeing a lot of flow from both these care, both these players right now. It talks you to the other side of the stage. Oh, he looked for it again, but missed it, and he's gonna die for it. DJ it Jack could taking also game be number that he's, two. Uh, getting extra damage with that down tilt as well, so it's kind of to ensure yeah. the stock at the same time. That makes sense. Because if itself. anything, even if I guess if DJ Jack gets or any Ryu gets that focus uh, focus attack off, he doesn't have to do show you after the first down tilt. Yeah, he can probably do a couple and then show you. I don't really see him because I have just seen walk him, him up like to focus percent. and then just true show you. Yeah. Thing, but I think it's mostly percent based where he wants to ensure the kill, such as like a kill throw. You know, like, you want to add in those extra pummels to make sure they die. Right, definitely. All right, so DJ Jack taking game number two. Uh, missing the footstool again. I want to see Blink get the full thing. It's really hype. See, and this is the type of uh, Sheik things that she could definitely take advantage of against Ryu in particular, strictly because of how heavy he is as a character, his uh, fall speed. There's so many trades that Blank does not want to take. Oh man! Spot dodge into up smash. Get hit that uh, hit by that up smash. Oh, and we got up tilts into sure you killing at 87 after hit. Sheik is light. DJ Jack doesn't even have like that much rage. He only has like 30 rage right now. If you're yeah, play missing, a light the, missing the footstool. If it's not working out, you know, I don't think uh, Blank should keep going for it. I actually haven't seen him get it successfully on stream once. Like, he, he's attempted to I've, go for it a few times. I've seen Blank do it before, but... Oh, okay, well, DJ Jack's just going to SD there, so that makes it a little easier. Okay, again, I thought... <laughs> no more uh, SDs, guys. <laughs> no, he's definitely doing the side B close enough to the ledge, so that way he's, he's able to get it. All right, there we go. Oh, that's we a way better conversion out of the other one that we saw. 59% off of that. Very nice. Oh, and then the combo on the Tatsu. Ryu just giving that damage right back immediately. Oh, and there it is. Punishes that air dodge with the down to show you, and DJ Jack takes it 3-0 over blank. That was a really good awareness at the very end where, where instead of going for another up tilt just in case he were to air dodge, he ends up just waiting for the air dodge and down tilts into true show you. Yep. Very smart from DJ Jack. All right, and now.